Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal, welcome back to yours truly, and welcome back to the studio. Let's get things kicked off. So we learned at the beginning of June that iOS 11 was going to bring with it the saviour for pretty much everybody who watches videos on my channel. A native screen recorder built into your iPhone and iPad so you can screen record whatever you want, whenever you want, without the need for a, a air show or every record type application, which could get easily revoked with certificates. Now, as of right now, the beta release of iOS 11 doesn't quite work with the screen record. It's got a few bugs, such as orientation issues, and it kills the external audio when you put the screen recorder into a video editor. But hopefully, by the time iOS 11 is released to the public officially, which is in September or October, all of those bugs should be fixed. Now at the same time, when I showed you iOS 11 beta, I showed you how to get it, but I was getting a lot of complaints about it breaking their system or their device. Because, to be honest, it's a beta and that's what you would expect, but I don't think people were fully prepared for this. So I took the link down from my original video to get iOS 11 beta, because it wasn't officially available, but now iOS 11 beta is officially available to the public. So if you do want to download it, by all means go ahead and break your device if you want to. And when I say break your device, it will still probably work, but there'll be so many glitches and bugs that if you've installed it onto your daily driver, you're going to absolutely hate the experience. And as I say, the screen recording experience isn't quite perfect yet, so there's no real point. But if you do want to know how to do it, there is a website that you're seeing on screen now and a link in the video description which is a link to the official Apple website where you can sign up as a beta developer tester and give your feedback on any of the iOS beta stuff. And once you've signed up, you'll probably get a profile that you'll copy onto your device and then that will allow you to update to iOS 11 beta if you want. But as I say, caveats, all sorts of warnings, you download and use this at your own risk, but it's fair for you all to try now if you really want to. As I say, I personally don't recommend doing this. If you do have a spare iPhone or iPad lying around, then by all means try it. But how many of you actually have that or are fortunate to have a spare one? Probably not many. So yeah, just wait for the official release of iOS 11 to get that screen recorder. And I will, of course, keep you updated as and when new betas come out to see whether it is improved. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this quick return to the studio of the Video Gadgets Journal. More will return very soon. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. And by the way, if you're wondering why I've got a mark on my head, it's because I've just cycled home and it is very hot in this studio, so apologies if I'm sweating. Phew!